Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to share one of my favorite natural masks that I like to use on my skin. This mask helps my skin to look radiant and glowing. It gives my skin that youthful glow. I'm using just simple ingredients that you tend to eat in your kitchen every day. Simple ingredients that can have to transform the skin. I'm so excited because I'm telling you this works so well on my skin. So I'm going to share the recipe with you guys to see if it's gonna work as well as it work on my skin and your skin so do not click off just wait for the full detail recipe to make our recipe I'm gonna be using a blender <coughs> our first ingredient is banana bananas are the secret to a well nourished skin as it helps to keep the skin hydrated it also helps moisturize dry skin making it soft and supple Banana contains vitamin A, which helps to restore the moisture and the collagen production in the skin. It also helps to smooth out the rough texture on the skin, healing dry, flaky skin, and leaving the skin just looking clean, healthy, and clear. So what I'm going to be using from this banana is a half of the banana. The first thing I'm going to do is to peel the outer part of the banana. Now both the peel and the flesh of the banana can be used on the skin. You can choose to use the peel of the banana to get rid of pigmentation on the skin. When you rub it on the skin like I am showing here, you'll have to lighten and brighten the skin. Take a look at the difference just by rubbing the peel. So when you're preparing your facial remedy, if you're looking to clear pigmentation from the skin, go ahead and use the banana peel also. You can do this by scraping the inner part of the banana peel like this and just mix it with the flesh of the banana. Now once this is done, we're going to place both the peel and the flesh of the banana in our blender. Now if you do not have a small blender, you can choose to grate the banana. And now we're going to put this aside and we're going to reach for our second ingredient. Now take a look at my second ingredient. Here I have aloe vera leaf, which contain aloe vera gel. I like to mix my banana with aloe vera gel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna extract the gel from the aloe. So to extract the gel, we're just gonna cut down on both sides, like I'm showing here. And then I like to start from this end and we're just going to peel right down. Now once this is done, now let's reach for our blender. We're going to go right under the other side. Scooping out this aloe vera gel. Now here we have our fresh aloe vera gel and this is what we're going to mix with our banana. Now before we blend our aloe and banana, take a look at my next ingredient. Here I have some dry orange peel powder. What I did, I dry the orange peel and I blend it to a powder and I store it in the refrigerator in a Ziploc or bag. This can last about six months in the refrigerator. So I'm going to take a comfortable teaspoon 
and I'm going to pour this in the blender. And so here in the blender, we have aloe vera gel, banana, and orange peel. We're not going to add any liquid. We're going to blend this as is. Now, once this is done blending, take a look. Here it is. Let's pour this in our bowl. Now, take a look. Here we have our banana aloe vera gel and orange peel now you can go ahead and you can use this as is on the skin or you can choose to add a bit of oil to this so I'm going to use some grapeseed oil which is a very light oil that will not clog the pores and it just absorb in the skin a teaspoon of the grapeseed oil especially if you have dry skin and we're going to just blend this in the mixture. Blend well. And this is what I'm going to use on my skin. So do not click off. Just wait for the live demonstration showing you how to use this on your skin. Now store this in the refrigerator. And you can store this for up to about 7 days. It might get a little dark. Not to worry. It is still good to use on the skin. Now the way I use this mask on my skin, I always stir it before I use it. And I like to make sure my skin is clean so I wash my face with my regular cleanser. And then I take a handful or run about a tablespoon just be generous with it I like to use my hands as an application and then I just apply it all over my face however today for demonstration I'm going to do it on half a side of my face so I apply it on my face my forehead my jawline my under eyes and then guess what I go back in what my hands and then I just massage it on my skin as if I'm exfoliating my skin with it so I rub it on my skin in circular motion as I'm showing right here and this is going to take about two to three minutes and don't forget the jawline so just rub it on the skin and you can also dip back in now once once that is done I'm gonna let it sit on my skin I let it sit on my skin for about a 30 minutes it's gonna dry on the skin okay and it's gonna get darker on the skin so be mindful of that now after that and after the 30 minutes what I do I rinse this off with cold water and after i rinse this off i just pat dry the skin and let me show you the result mark that i use this on my skin all the time but you still can see the difference in the side that i apply this to and take a look look at that natural glow on my skin that's the side that i applied it to and this side i didn't this morning and you can clearly see the difference in spite of the fact that my skin is already looking good overall all from using Here this. You have it. What can I say? You see for yourself, guys, how well this works on my skin. So, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, whip it up, make it up, use it up, and guess what? I don't mind seeing some before and after pictures. So, send them in because I want to see how well it works on your skin, also. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.